Hey guys, Editing Zach here. Um, it turns out my first uh, intro video and the last exit video both corrupted for some reason. It's been a problem in the past, but here I am trying to fix it for you. Basically, what I'm going to be doing in this video is spray painting my green krakens into a gray and black a thing, basically. The reason why I would do that is so I can use my green screen and the Krakens at the same time. And some of you might be wondering, Zach, why don't you just use your Astros for um, computer stuff? And I'm, it just doesn't sound as good without the USB hub, the mixer amp. So, and the Krakens sound a little bit better without the mixer amp compared to the Astros if you're just going off AUX, my opinion. Not as comfortable, not gonna lie. But yeah, so this video is basically me just going through the processes of what to do when spray painting. I'm not a professional, this is actually my first time doing something like this, but I would recommend following the steps that I did uh, if you're going to do this. Uh, a few things I would do differently though, however. Wait a few more out, like at least two hours before each different overcoat. I did four coats total for my my headphones, and they turned out pretty good. But when I put tape over the green uh, plastic bit to do the red, some of it peeled off. So yeah, I think I say that in the video, anyways. But yeah, other than that, they look pretty good. Um, I'll show you after the the process of me getting it all ready and stuff. But yeah, I'll see you then. Okay, now I got both sides done. Uh, I'm gonna cover up this with paint, or not paint, um, tape. So, because I like this black on it and I want to match this. No paint will try to escape through the fabric while I do that, but if it does, oh well, it's gray, it's gray. And yeah, okay, we got everything taped up that we could possibly tape up. Uh, why is it so tight? There we go, all right. And, just going to, like, I'm worried about that, this little microphone bit. I have to use duct tape instead of painter's tape because duct tape is a little bit more stickier. So hopefully it will work better, but, and the cloth I can't save. So I'm just gonna spray paint over that. Yeah, my first coat's gonna be gray. And then I'm gonna do two coats of that. And I have to, I have to try to get through the nooks and crannies of it all. But yeah, hopefully it goes all well. And I'm hanging it up by a piece of string, uh, fishing string. So yeah, I'm gonna get the paint out. Uh, Painter's Touch, it's a two times ultra cover, pit flat gray primer. Also bonds with plastic, that's why I'm using it. You don't have to sand anything, which is nice. So yeah, let's get to it. First coat done. I'm gonna let them dry for, I think it says like 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna give it a half hour and yeah, we'll get back to it. Second coat.
second coat is applied. So we'll let this dry and then I'm gonna apply some red to it. I'm gonna tape it off first before I apply red to it though. Um, might let this dry for about two hours. And yeah, I'm gonna paint those parts red and the little circles at in on the ear cup. Right there, I'm gonna paint those red. So yeah. Okay, so it's been about a few hours. I've added some more coats of it. I think I'm at like four coats now. And it's about time to, it's about time to start doing the red. And I was like, maybe I'll do the red like just here, but nah, I'm gonna do the red here too. So I'm gonna tape some stuff up. Oh, oh dang it. Wow, I can fix that. But uh, I'm gonna do the red first. Okay, so I messed up on the last one. I bought some new ones. Just kidding, these are the same ones. I just taped over them again. <laughs> Probably should have done these red first anyways. But yeah, I'm gonna paint these red and I put tape over the, the band at the top. So if paint comes off that, I'll just redo it and cover up the red. It'd be way easier. But yeah, after this, I'm pretty much done. So yeah, let's get the spray painting red. Okay, they're done. Okay, wasn't that fun? So here's the headphones and they look awesome, like super good. And well, there's still some green spots in there, but you will never see that in the video, I promise. Except for the microphone part. Focus, focus, no focus. Okay, well, it doesn't like the focus. Like I was saying though, let your thing dry out a little longer than mine and it will turn out even better. Uh, I used Painter's Touch spray paint times two and matte finish looks really good. I got glossy for the red for some reason. I think there was a matte red for sure. I must have just picked up the glossy in accident and yeah. But it looks pretty good. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Zach, also known as Ninja Bear. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you thought about this process and what I should have done differently in your guys' opinions. I um, really want to know. See you guys. Thanks. Fine. I'm leaving you. Goodbye. Soiled it. I can't talk to you anyways. Okay, he's swinging something at me. I don't like it.